Hey everybody, my name is Jay, and welcome to Teen Titan Plus. You guys might know me for my music as Ege, and today I'm playing the game of a dollar question. I'll be given six minutes to answer as many questions as I can, and for every question I answer, I'll get a dollar, so let's get that bag. So where are you from? America. What do you like most about Singapore? Food. How did you get into the K-industry? Luck. If you could collaborate with any artist, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Hindia. I've recently discovered his music and I think it's really cool. What is an off-day schedule like for you? Food, music, gaming. Playing your guitar or gaming the entire day away? Valorant, all day, every day. What are you most afraid of? Uh, <laughs> we're getting deep. Getting too old? Sing us a line from any of your songs. I'm still mad and I shouldn't be cause it's shy. What you did to me? What is one quote you live by? His will be done. What color best describes you and why? These questions are so hard. <laughs> These are not easy questions. Oh, uh, I, I guess red right now for mad. Are you a morning or a night person? Ooh, in between. What is your most used emoji? Laughing. To travel anywhere instantly or to eat without gaining weight? Travel. What is your favorite movie genre? Horror. If you could watch wow. a movie for the first time again, what would it be and why? I think I would have to say her because I love that movie. What is one thing you wish you owned? Money. <laughs> What is your ideal type? Someone who understands me because I am very frustrating as a person. What is your dream job as a kid? Politician. I always wanted to be in the UN. What is your favorite scent? Sweet. Because I think that's one of the first scents that I remember from my first love. Which previous hairstyle were you the most embarrassed of? Oh, which one? There's so many. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to say the one that I wore to a guest appearance on K-pop star 2. What is one thing you wish you could tell your younger self? Don't be so arrogant. Who is your favorite superhero and why? Ooh, Superman, because he can do anything. What is one superpower you wish to have? Teleportation. Current favorite TV show? Mm, I don't watch TV right now. Twitch? Would you rather live in the ocean or the moon? Wouldn't you die from both? Damn, that's a hard one. Probably ocean if I can breathe underwater. What is the best dish you can cook? Uh, uh ramyeon. If you could do someone's job for a day, what would it be? I've been having daydreams about mayhaps having a day job like a desk job somewhere. If you had a million dollars, what would you buy first? House. Pineapples on pizza? Ew. If you could only eat one meat for the rest of your life, what would it be? Steak. What is the craziest thing you've ever done? I can't talk about it here. <laughs> your favorite type of music? Right now, rock. What's one thing your parents have always nagged you about? Getting a job. What is the best ice cream flavor? Ooh, cookie dough. What would the title of your book be? What is going on? What are you excited about this week? This! What is your go-to pose for a photo? The thumbs up. Show us your hidden talent. Ah! <laughs> Being very confused. What is your favorite song in your latest album? Mad. If you had to put together a PowerPoint presentation in an hour, what would it be about? Probably Valorant. How are your grades in school? Ah, uh, let's not talk about that. Where do you feel most at home? I feel most at home at home. If you have to play one video game for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ooh, I would say Valorant, but I'm gonna have to say TFT. So producer, how many questions did I answer? So you've answered 43 questions. Oh, that's a lot of questions! <laughs> so what are you gonna be doing with the $43? Chicken and rice. How many can I get with that? That's a lot of chicken and rice. I just had some, it was delicious. Mm. Thank you so much for watching this episode of A Dollar a Question. Make sure to let us know who you want to see next, and don't forget to stream Mad by Ege. Bye-bye.